what if? What is up you guys, it's Valentelli here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. This is my video two and this will also be my review of episode three and episode four of season two of What If. Now, first off the bat, the, 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 the first episode, well, episode three is absolutely amazing. This is pretty much Age of Ultron meets um essentially die hard which i absolutely love this is absolutely amazing to see happy hogan used in the mcu more than he has been was a real real treat because i think he's been been very under underutilized except for maybe in the spider-man movies um especially the tom holland uh, pacific ones but yeah overall you can't go wrong with a classic die hard now i know many people dispute whether the die hard is a christmas movie it's set during Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. End of story. So, pretty much we move on to the plot of this. Justin Hammer, if you guys remember, he was the tech mogul in Iron Man 2. He's escaped and decided to take over Avengers Tower. Now, obviously, all the Avengers are off doing, you know, Iron Man's off doing like a Santa Claus thing. So is Captain America. Wanda's... I don't know why I say Wanda. <laughs> Black Widow's, um, she's facing off against another assassin um, during the Nutcracker play at a theatre. So they're all branched out. So it's just down to Happy Hogan. And it's also down to... I forgot her name. Darcy. Darcy, that's it. Thank you very much. You just reminded me, Darcy. Darcy is one of those characters in the MCU. Like, she was in WandaVision. Obviously, she was in the Thor films. Really, really like her character. She brings a nice little fun element to it. And the fact that she's never been anything but an, but an intern is just it's just crazy. She needs to get a full-paying job. Get her at Stark and she'll be loving life. But anyway, pretty much get, again, back to this episode. It's Die Hard. Pretty much set in the Avengers Tower. You can't go wrong. So pretty much, obviously, Hammer um, takes over Stark Tower. Um, Tony's been working on a serum for Banner, kind of a way to try and calm him down. Um, long story short, some shenanigans happen, the tower gets taken over, and Happy Hogan gets injected with a Hulk serum. Now, it does something a bit different, it actually makes him like purple with like orange veins, which I really, really like because he actually does attain his actual, um, his actual, it's not humanity, he actually attains his actual um, intelligence. Um, we get a really, really good fight with um, Justin Hammer in the um, Hulkbuster in this versus um, Hul um, Happy Hogan. Again, everybody knows it's happy. But again, I can't really fault this episode. It was really, really cool. Like I said, Die Hard meets um, Marvel meets Age of Ultron. So this is pretty much set, I would say, at the beginning of Age of Ultron, I would say. Um, but yeah, that's the first episode. What if Happy Hogan saved Christmas? Episode four. Now, this is a really, really good one because this essentially is Thor Ragnarok meets Mad Max, which again, you can't go wrong with this as well. So pretty much episode four does take us into the end of the first Avengers film when Iron Man takes the nuke up into space. But except, but except in this story, he doesn't come back. He actually gets teleported in space and ends up on Sakaar. So, essentially, obviously, it being Thor Ragnarok. But you swap, swap Hulk and Thor out with Iron Man. So, we do get some cameos in here from, obviously, the Grandmaster. So, yeah, sorry. I meant to say this episode is titled, What If Iron Man Met the Grandmaster? Or, what's it called? Iron Man crashed into the Grandmaster. Sorry, I had to check. But yeah, overall, it's like I said, it's like Mad Max meets um, Thor Ragnarok. We're on Sakaar. We get, um, we get Korg. We get Valkyrie. We get the Grandmaster. We get, um, obviously, Iron Man. So yeah, again, really, really cool. Obviously, the Grandmaster's up to his old schemes like he was on um, Sakaar. Obviously, Tony challenges him to a race. He does have his suit, but then he has to build another suit because, again, where he is, the technology is very different. Valkyrie in here was cool. She was a cool addition. But there is there is another character in this as well. So pretty much after the events of, you know, the nuke going after, um, going off in space and destroying Thanos' Chitari army, Thanos sent Gamora after Tony Stark. So it's... Just a tad different, just a tad different, but it was enough 
it was enough to spice things up instead of just watching like you know for ragnarok with iron man which again would be cool as a concept in itself but this spiced it up that he's actually trying to dodge being assassinated by gamora so obviously in this episode she's still very loyal to thanos at this point but yeah, overall, absolutely love these episodes, episode 3 and episode 4. I'm just about to do my review on episode 5. I want to do episode 6 separately, purely because we are going to be talking about a brand new character that is new to the MCU, has been created for the What If universe, and depending on how she does, um, you know, and fan um, reactions and stuff, she might be adopted into the MCU. But she's meant to be very powerful, so stay tuned for those videos coming soon. But anyway, also, I will let you know that episode 5 is pretty much the Winter Soldier. But instead of having Cap, we've got Peggy Carter. So, you've got to let me know who you think is going to be the Winter Soldier. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you the video. Also, let me know. Hey, you guys have been enjoying these what ifs. I really like them. They're a breath of, fr a breath of fresh air. Again... Let's be honest, the Marvel movies ain't really been doing the best recently. So, it's nice to still get MCU content, but have it in like a bit of a mix-up, mash-up way where we get um, to ponder wife, essentially. But anyway, um, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the schedule vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b